What is up guys? Trey is back. And today I wanted to go into the prize highlights with you guys. So first for the start off, we have our leaderboard prize at a rib. Um I personally don't like this guy's look. I think he's extremely ugly. Um, that's just me speaking. But um, regardless, he is a legendary. Um, he is, I mean, he has to be fire. That's going to be my guess. Um, but judging by this guy's stats, guys, um, since we don't know for sure what this guy is because he's a leaderboard prize and we have yet to get him, um, well, maybe some people have gotten the rare form of him, I guess. I'm going to guess that he's a champ. And, um, yeah, that's my guess. I could be wrong about that. I want to call him a war champ. <laughs> because he had, he, I mean, this, this guy's stats, he has a mix of both worlds, so to speak. I mean, he looks like a champ because he has a decent amount of HP. He has really high attack. And he has pretty decent defense. Um, but he also looks like a warlock because he also has pretty decent wisdom. So this guy, I'm guessing is a champ, but I'm, I'm just going to call him a war champ because um, this is a very versatile legendary fighter, guys. Um, that's that's really the best word I can think of to describe this guy's versatile. I mean, you can really superfuse this guy to make him whatever you want him to be. If you want him to be a tank, then you can superfuse his HP or his defense, and this guy will survive that much longer, will be that much tougher. Or, um, for some reason, if you want to superfuse his agility, I mean, not agility, his wisdom, um, you could turn this guy into like a warlock with high attack and high wisdom. I mean, you could pretty much turn this guy into whatever you want, just depending upon what you choose to superfuse him with. Um, if you really want to turn this guy into a monster, you can superfuse him with attack. I mean, that's completely up to you. But um, this guy officially has the highest attack in all of Dot, guys. Um, coming in at a base max attack of 12,863. Um, that is even higher than Dread. I believe Dread is only 11 and a half, somewhere around there. So um, this guy is even more attacked than Dread. Me personally, I don't think he's the better fighter than Dread overall. But he does have much higher attack. Um, he does have a new skill, Nitpick All Elite. Um, sometimes only a firm hand will do. Tisk, look at this mess. Um, it has a cooldown of two, which isn't fantastic, but isn't bad either. There's, there's been worse. But um. This guy is very versatile, guys. You can pretty much make him into whatever you want. Um, I'm, I'm personally not feeling him, but um, and I'm sitting this event out as well, so I'm most definitely not going to get him. But um, this guy, you can really shape to your liking. I mean, there's a variety of ways you can do this. Like one defender might superfuse him one way, another defender might superfuse him a totally different way, and it'll still work because this guy's very flexible. He's very versatile. So, um, whoever goes for the top of the leaderboard and gets this guy, um, the choice is yours. Whatever you want to do to make this guy that much more powerful. But he really has a lot of defense, wisdom, attack, and HP. Um, moving right along, we have our bracket battle prizes. We have Shajan, the bard here. Um, this look is all right. They were going for a bard. I don't think he too much looks like a bard, me personally, but... Um, Sajan is an air warlock, so he's going to have the heightened attack and the heightened wisdom. Um, he even has really decent agility for a warlock, coming in at 1556. Um, HP is usually mediocre. He's coming in around 38, 34, and the defense is usually always missing on the warlock. Um, he has 1,172. So um, overall, guys, this... This guy's just straight up super fused fodder, just like I said in my first impressions video. Um, there's not really much going on for this guy. I mean, he has a cooldown of three, which is not good. I mean, there are some fighters that have that have a cooldown, but they can live long enough to actually use the cooldown skill. Whereas this guy, I mean, it won't take but one hit. 
maybe two if you've been really could use improvement. But, I mean, this guy's just, he's super fused fodder, guys. Get this guy and use him for super fused fodder for attack. I mean, beginners might be able to use him, but that about it. Everyone else is pretty much going to use him for super fused fodder. I mean, smash all, nothing new, pretty regular skill there. Cool down to three, which is not good, and he's a warlock. And he's pretty much able to be destroyed quite quickly. So, if you're looking for a super fuse fodder for attack mainly, but he's pretty decent super fuse fodder for HP and wisdom, um, Sha John will be your man. Our points prize we have Ever Strong. This fighter is super duper old. We're not even really going to waste much time on her. Um, they just got it back as a points prize. So, whatever you want to do with her, I mean, she's barely even super fuse fodder, but that's up to you guys. But then we have our new legendary here, Zuleika. Um, I definitely like her look. I think she looks pretty cool with the little Valentine heart and the roses all around her. Um, she is legendary. Um, my guess is that she's going to be a fire guru. Why do I guess that? <laughs> As DNA. We got like a thousand fire legendaries and one earth legendary or some wop-sided junk like that. So I'm almost confident that this is another fire guru. Um, so for guru, really high HP, 7,002. That is like, I mean, we've been seeing some gurus like Bombazin who recently just came out with like 3,000 or so HP. And then we got a legendary that has over double that. So um, she has some survivability. This is a guru that can actually take a lick, guys. So, um, yeah, she she has some survivability about herself. 2,500 defense is also unheard of on a guru. Um, she has ridiculous wisdom. I mean, the highest wisdom in the game. 14,374 wisdom. That is just ridiculous. I honestly don't see nothing surviving her proc skill. Nothing. I don't think anything is surviving. I think even the mighty dread will drop to that like snappy. He's done. But um, the thing is, she's really slow. 4751 is not a lot of agility, um, especially for a legendary guru. Um, there's plenty of um, epic gurus that are much faster than that. So she's not really fast for a legendary guru. I mean, that's still a considerable amount of agility. Now, don't get me wrong, but she's not like super duper fast. Um, I thought she'd be much faster, but I guess DNA had to do a balancing act because her wisdom is ridiculously high. I mean, it is, it is insane how high her wisdom is. But um, she is an all-target guru, Bewitch All Elite. That is a new cooldown skill. Has a cooldown of one. So all-target tar all gurus, um, every other turn they unleash their proc skill. They usually have low attack, so on that off turn, they're really pretty much going to be useless because they're going to hit somebody and freaking it's going to be like I'm running into a brick wall. They're just really not going to do anything for damage. But once that proc skill comes, I can I pretty much can say with confidence that she's dropping the whole line. So um, this will be a really good one for PvP, guys. Um, this one in PvP will be pretty much unstoppable. Um, Unless, of course, you don't play her smartly and you try to swipe her against a band of preempts, that wouldn't be good because they destroy her. But um, if you use her properly, she can be quite a beast in PvP. Um, I don't think she'll have much use in any other mode besides that, but that is up to your discretion. So that is it for what we have for our prize highlights. Now let's go on to our comparisons. Or should I say our comparison? Um, so first we got to compare the war champ here. Um, well, I call him a war champ. Our new legendary here, Adarib. And I decided to compare him to Ouija Beat. And I usually don't do this, guys. Um, I'm usually not one to cross up types when it comes to my comparison. Like, for example, today... I do believe Adarib is a champ and I'm comparing him to a warlock. I usually wouldn't do that. Um, I keep the champs with the champs, the warlocks with the warlocks, etc. But this time I had to kind of switch it up because um, I consider Ouija B as well as Adarib war champs. 
And the reason I do is just like I explained for Adarib, um, they both have a considerable amount of attack, a pretty decent amount of HP. Um, Adarib has pretty average defensive wisdom coming in around 4,200 and 4,800 respectively. And Weejby, while not having so much defense at 2,200, he has 6,600 wisdom. And he's also almost twice as fast as Adarib. So um, if we were to compare the stats, Weejby has 394 HP. Adarib has 2,363 more attack. Adarib has 1,986 more defense. Weejby has 1,853 more wisdom. And Weejaby also has 1,340 more agility. They both have a all skill elite, and they both have a cooldown of three two. So um, it pretty much is up to your discretion what you want to do. Adarib has the attack and defense by a total of about 4,000, and Weejaby has more HP, wisdom, and agility by a total of about approximately 3,200 or so. So um, it all depends what you're looking for. Both of these fighters, depending on how you can super, how you superfuse them, you can basically turn them into whatever you want them to be. And that's why I decided to compare these two, even across classes. Um, I thought they both fit the war champ category. So um, there's, I really don't want to say one is better than the other. It really depends upon what you personally are looking for, but. Um, Adarib definitely has the highest attack in the game. So if you're looking for strength, go his way. If you're looking for more speed, maybe you're going to equip Ouija B with a piece of gear like that proc thwart or something like that. Then you want to go for the wisdom. So it's completely up to you what you want to do, guys. But this is who I chose to compare to today. Our next comparison would usually be Shah John, but... Um, I chose not to compare him because once again I have to go across classes in order to do that because to my knowledge he is the first warlock with smash all I mean he has a considerable amount of attack but it's, it just don't seems to be befitting of a warlock to have smash all so he is the first to have it I mean I could compare him to plenty of champs that have the smash all skill but the problem with that is the stats wouldn't really be nowhere near each other I mean, the champ will have more HP, more attack, more defense. Shah John will have more wisdom because he's in a warlock. And they could possibly have pretty close agility. But I just decided to leave that one alone. Um, he is the first warlock, to my knowledge, to have the smash all skill. So I'm not really going to bother with that. And I also decided to leave Zuleika alone this time because she is definitely in a class of her own. Um, her wisdom is unmatched. She's the first three for three legendary guru to my knowledge i don't believe we've had any others yet we've had plenty of champs and plenty of warlocks but i do believe she is the first three four three legendary guru and you know i was looking at some fighters that are similar to her some legendary atgs that we already have in the game that are two for two but their stats are just so inferior guys that i didn't even bother doing the comparison i mean she was basically blowing them out in every category that actually matters on an all-target guru. So I decided to let her be as well. I'm sure in the future, DNA will release fighters that we can compare Shajan and Zuleika to. But at this point in time, I just decided to let it be because it, it would just be too great of a difference to, I mean, why even bother comparing? So I left them alone and be on the lookout. Maybe we'll be able to get some similar fighters to compare them to then. So... That's our prize highlights for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please continue to like, favorite, subscribe, share, comment, and everything else. And I will be back at you guys' screen with more dot videos soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.